Uh, today I charge Jaron Pridgen with six counts of murder. One day after the tragedy in Muskogee, the suspect, 25-year-old Jaron Pridgen in court, also charged with shooting with intent to kill and possessing a firearm while on probation for the deaths of five children and his younger brother. Today, the Muskogee community coming together to mourn their loss in prayer, trying to heal from the wounds inflicted on them when shots rang out Tuesday morning. Two Works for You, Sierra Pizarro is live in Muskogee tonight with how the young victims are being honored. Sierra. I'd say a couple hundred people attended the prayer vigil here in Muskogee and more than 900 donors have surpassed the $35,000 mark in the online fundraiser to help pay for the children's funeral expenses. They were only two, three, five, six and nine years old at the time of their deaths. A community stricken with grief. God, today we need you. Prayer is what Muskogee now relies on. We will remember the loss of life that we've experienced here in Muskogee. The quiet of this neighborhood shattered by gunshots early Tuesday morning. I shed tears of sorrow because being responsible for the well-being of more than 37,000 residents included the lives of those five children. Five children and one man killed. That man's older brother, Jaron Pridgen, is charged for the murders. Do you have your family in your prayers? And for what he did, he failed as a father. Brittany Anderson, the children's mother, recovers in a Tulsa hospital and is now awake and aware. Uh, she does know that uh, her babies are, are gone, but She's just thanking God that she's here and, uh, you know, and working her way through this tragedy. We're all working through the tragedy. There's still the question of motive. Why? Why would somebody do this? I'm not going to talk about a motive. The issue on the uh, death penalty will be made at a later date once the investigation is complete. Jaron Pridgen is due back in court February 18th. Police say Pridgen himself called 911 following the incident. And Muskogee County District Attorney also announced that they will be helping with the funeral expenses and counseling if needed by the family. I'm Sierra Pizarro, two works for you.